What's going on everybody, Physio Trader here and going to jump into a trade recap. Unfortunately, wasn't able to catch it on camera today. So just gonna have to go through the recap. So um, very first thing, starting out, we were looking at, uh, taking a look at FUTU, F-U-T-U. This thing gapped down quite a bit in pre-market, went even lower than this. Um, and then it was over here, got down to around a low of 58.20. It was trying to see if it would get below 58. And then before you knew it, this thing just starts going crazy to the upside. Now, coincidentally enough, at 50, really like 59.60, I wanted to go long. And as you can see, this thing went as high as 66.11. So just absolutely berserk to the upside. So then, and now I did take a $268 loss on this trade. But basically, I just was waiting for a pullback, waiting for a pullback. And... Uh, you know, to kind of showcase the, the trade in and of itself. Basically, I was building into a position perfectly fine. Um, and then I was around, I think my average was 64.09, um, I believe, out here. So I never really got to a green trade. I mean, at one point um, here, I was actually in a green trade. It was like a break even. Um, but then at this point, it just, it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough to, to cover the risk versus reward that I was looking at. Um, we started to show some strength, thought this was going to be a turnaround, thought that this 200 period average was going to be an area of protection. And then you can see, of course, I did, I hot keyed out for the $268 loss um, at that point. Now, I got out at 63.45. So you can see over there, I got out at 63.45. Um, you know, had I been undisciplined, basically would have been a break even. But had I been undisciplined and this thing did not recover, I think this thing got down in the 61s. So, um, yeah, I mean, this thing just kept falling apart. And then, of course, it did find some support. But, you know, that would have been another $1,000 losing trade at that point until we would have, you know, broke even around 64. So got as high as 64... 64.14, so a lot of risk to break even. And then you can see at this point, just uh, um, already back in losing trajectory at that point. So uh, kind of annoying, definitely unfortunate, but it, you know, it, it is what it is. Um, second trade up here was on AMC. So AMC just went crazy for the day as well. Everything really kind of went up. Um, did a very quick, and as you can see the timestamp, this was like five hours later. I was doing some other stuff today, came back in. I played a call contract on Tesla. Uh, really was hoping to get a bigger move, but it just it wasn't moving in the time and the speed at which I wanted to. So I took a $15 you know, catch on that. Only one contract traded. But over here on the AMC trade, um, started out 300 shares, hot keyed in at 43.15, and then got out for a very quick spike on that $22 move. Um, and then over here, so as we were getting this sell off, I started building and building. I was building in 200 shares uh, at 42.90 and then 42.78. At this point, I'm, I'm quite bullish on it. I think that we are going to go to the upside. Um, and then I just ended up getting out for a, um, a quick $67 move. Um, but then, of course, this thing, you know, it, again, in hindsight, it would have worked out beautifully until it didn't. Um, wasn't actually paying attention. And then this one right here, I just hot keyed in $100. Or, I'm um, sorry, 100 shares um, at $42.79. Now, I wish it would have gone in several hundred from there, but it is what it is. Uh, and then you can see there's a little bit of sell-off. This is, uh, you know, live data, but the market's going to close in about 40 seconds. So um, either way, uh, that's it. So I was able to capture around 120 of it back. Um, so minus 270, 120 back. So ending up the day minus 151 after commissions, probably around 165 or so. So definitely an annoying day, but it is what it is. Um, you know, some days you're going to take winners. Some days you're going to take losers. The idea is to keep them small. I, you know, I walked away after the first one, not because I was afraid of revenge trading, but really just wasn't that many setups I was looking for. They weren't there. Um, came back was, was okay. I was okay with the $200 loss, much better with them, you know, $150 loss. Um, but again, the idea is small losses, small wins are okay. Small losses are okay. Small, uh, big wins are definitely desirable, but big losses is, is definitely a no, no. So, um, that's it for me. If you have any questions, reach out in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you all next time.